Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Endermail here, and today I'm bringing you guys my second episode of Minecraft Let's Play. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all the great positive feedback on the last episode, and I'm going to be continuing to do this series. So basically, let's get started. It is becoming nighttime, and I am in a bad setup right now because I don't have much tools. Well, I have wooden tools, but nothing really other than that. I'm hungry. I don't have any swords, I need to make swords to fight things, and I honestly don't know where to go or what I'm doing. Probably just gonna go this way. I don't want to fall down and hurt myself. I'm gonna hang near this lava. So yeah, basically, as most of you know, the world is supposed to end. December 21st, that's in like 15 days, 16 days, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing everything in my power to stop the world from ending. Now, if you wake up the 22nd of December without being dead or without being in the middle of an apocalypse, you will know who to thank, and you will know that I did my job and completed my duties. And I will be accepting donations for saving the world. No! No way! No! No. 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 Oh, you probably don't want me saving your world. No. That sucks. No. I had my map and food and oh, I was ready to go. Now we're back to the freaking ground zero shit. Now we don't even, ah, oh, you know what? Forget it. There's zombies everywhere. Don't even have enough wool to make a bed. Freaking skeleton. Don't F with me, skeleton. You too, zombie. I'm going to try to run up here and get some of this wood right quick, hopefully. Dang, that sucks. Now I'm back to just where I was last episode, collecting stupid supplies. I was all hyped for this episode, like, yeah, man, we're gonna start building my house. Gonna keep people interested. Well, now, I just burned in the lava, lost all my stuff. Freaking episode two. Ugh. It's nighttime, too. Now I have six pieces of wood, can make another freaking crafting table. I need sheep, but I don't want to waste all my energy trying to kill sheep because I don't have any food. And I gotta kill pigs. I'm lost. Don't know where I'm going. That's the edge of the world. I think I went the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Look at all those mobs. Oh my goodness. I am not going down there. And up there. I was just up there and there was no mobs. Uh, this game hates me. I probably shouldn't sprint. I better save all my food bar. Don't want my food bar depleting. No creeper. No creeper. I'm gonna try to get this skeleton to kill this creeper. Nope. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. No. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to jump. Oh, there's a hole in the mountain. Oh, I need to go that way. I kind of. Oh shoot. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that helps a little. No. He already hurt himself. No. I think there's another one. Bones. Dang. Alright, I have some dirt. Maybe I can make myself a little hut. Just throw up some walls and stuff for me to chill in. To survive through the night. I need to find an NPC village. Hopefully I can, like, grab a crafting table from there, but I honestly, I don't even know what to do. Oh, an enderman. Oh, I think, oh, no. I didn't look at him. Good. Good, good, good. Got this waterfall here. There's that tree. That means the lava is just over this hill right here. Now one of the comments was to build a whole a home in the hole in that mountain. So 
I'm going to be heading over there and checking that out because it's not a bad idea. Chilling in the middle of a hole. I'd have to put a lot of torches down though because I don't want freaking zombies to spawn all over me. There's a lot of trees. <sighs> There's that lava pit. I'm not going back over there. I need food. I need food so bad. I'm in the worst possible situation to be in. But anyways, before I die, yep, I'm going to save the world. I'm going to stop the apocalypse from happening. I'm going to stop that meteor from hitting. So, I've been reading up on it, you know, figuring out what I'm going to be fighting, who I'm going to be battling, and turns out a lot of people believe that there's going to be a uh -oh, meteorite filled with aliens. And the aliens are going to come out of the meteor when it hits and kill us all. But I will do my best. And you can thank me now, or you can thank me later when you wake up Christmas morning. That'll be my gift to the whole entire world. All six billion people. I'm a generous man. I'm better than Santa Claus. Santa Claus doesn't even deliver to naughty kids. Even the naughty kids are getting getting to live on this one. I'm a nice guy. Very nice guy. It's not very often that you see people going out of their way to save humanity. But I will be doing it. I don't know. I'm thinking about live streaming it. If anybody is up for watching that. I just made a sword too. Now I don't have anything. I need to make another pickaxe. Yeah, so December 20th, I will live stream me saving the world. No. Did he die? No. He didn't die. No, I'm dead. I'm dead again. I am dead again. Freaking dead again. Down to three hearts. One shot from the skeleton and I'm out. Actually, probably two shots. No, definitely one shot. I don't know where to go. I can't sprint because I can't waste my stuff. I should get far... Oh, I gotta sprint. I just gotta do it. I gotta get in the far enough way. Oh, yeah, this is this is where I'm gonna be. This is my station at. I'm not looking at the Enderman. Keep your eyes low. All right. First things first. Crafting table, definitely, definitely. What I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need a pickaxe. Start going ham real quick at the stone. Hopefully get enough stone to burn this iron that I just found. There's tons of iron right here just chilling at the top level. That's super helpful. But there's not much iron. I don't know if I can mine iron with this wooden pickaxe. I'm trying not to risk it because if it doesn't work, I'm out a piece of iron. And I know there's a lot of iron here, but it's just not worth it. <laughs> Alright, I've got enough coal to make a furnace and burn some iron. And I need to make a sword. It is daytime, yes. I survived, well, I didn't survive my first night. I can't say that. I was about to, I, I planned out a whole speech. About how awesome I am for surviving the first night, and I fall in the lava right away, right as I start the episode. That is definitely fake and gay. No, no, I'm not going to say that. It's definitely fake and annoying. Alright, so I've got all my iron and stuff ready to go. Got 19 pieces of wood. Got the sun coming up over the horizon. About to go check that out real quick, you know, just give it a little peek. It's probably really pretty. Here comes the sun over the horizon. The ocean, the mountains. Oh, we've got a sand biome. There's always NPC villages in the desert biome. What is this? Huh. <laughs> but there's like always NPC villages in the desert biome, so that is definitely where I'm heading to next. After next episode so yeah basically this episode is coming to an end it has been 10 minutes already i know time flies super fast when you're having so much fun um 
if people enjoy watching those, these, I will be hoping to make them longer, you know, so that we can get a little bit more in-depth. I didn't get to do much because I was dead the whole time trying to scramble to get back, and I just got here, but my health is getting down. I need more food to eat. Um, got some iron, some coal. So, yeah, I'm leaving off in a good place for next week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I am Endermail, and I am out, and I will be saving the world. Don't forget it. Peace.